What up, guys? CP the Tool Addict. Woo! Oh, man. I'm wore out. Not gonna lie to you. A couple of uh, housekeeping things I want to address. I apologize to some of you if I'm not getting comments right away. I will say YouTube has been screwing me on comments. Some of them get put in. Some of them come up later. I'm not sure what's going on. I do know for a fact that their YouTube has uh, put on some new, sort of new system that... If you make a if you make a pretty off canty comment, it basically uh, hides your comment, uh, which I'm not angry about. I got to tell you because reading negative comments does nobody no good. If you're apologize to all you that do make comments uh, that I don't always get to reply to. Um, This video, however, is a very special one, so stick around because we've got a lot to talk about, and there's a lot of things to talk about, and uh, a lot of, well, I got some new stuff anyways, but the, we're going to talk about, I got a mail call uh, here, and I got from a subscriber, we're going to call him Mr. J, sent me a few things in the mail that were definitely pretty neat, uh, I have never had any PB Swiss stuff. To my name yet and uh he sent me a couple of these he said he said cp you got to check out these hose hooks and uh, i said sure man i said if you he wanted to send them to me now i didn't realize that pb swiss made hard handle ones which is pretty cool uh but i guess they've got a swiss grip too and i've heard a lot about it before but i've never touched it a lot of people love them i suppose for a hose hook that might be a bad deal because swiss grip might be really getting dirty and chewed up a lot so this is probably a better better design for using these but i gotta say after getting these i thought man these are kind of neat considering the fact that they're just another size difference uh in fact these are this is kind of the one i use for uh, my snap on one i use quite a bit but you can see right here we've got a different angle to the dangle in fact if you put it like this it's actually got a little bit more uh if we line them up straight you can see that it's got a little different angle to it which is kind of neat, and I'm really excited to use these more. Haven't really had a chance to use these a lot yet. Uh, I did use, I think I did try to use this one, worked fine, but it wasn't nothing really crazy, just a little hose. But uh, once again, a different style of hook um, to check out. Uh, I like the fact that it comes back around so you can kind of get around a hose on this, but it's also got a little crook to it. So if you're trying to drag it into something, but... Uh, definitely nice. There's the part number. I'll put a link for it in the description if you want to get your own. Um, thanks to Mr. J. He didn't want to be named like a lot of people that are messaging me nowadays because of, uh, you know, just, it, it's, it's, it's unfortunate. I gotta say, I, I mean, you know, I'm always very honest with you guys and open, and I gotta say, the total lack of respect that people have on the internet nowadays is, <sighs> it's it's something else i really you know and i and i fired back on people don't understand it why there's so much negativity and hate and i understand i don't like harbor freight so that instantly makes people uh angry you know because you say that and quite frankly it's a tool man it's not a person okay uh and the company doesn't care about you no more than snap-on does uh there's very few companies then i will say i do have a few that seem a lot more personal. What the hell do I got on there? Apparently I got some smoo on there from last time I was taking some stuff off. Anyways, uh, there's a lot of things out. Anyways, I don't want to get rambling on to that. But, you know, at the end of the day, they're just tools, guys. And uh, I like what I like. You like what you like. And that's the cool thing about tools is, is personalizing your own. Whether you like PB Swiss, Snap-on, uh, you know, Lyle Mayhew, whatever you, you like. You know, that's your choice. I just like to show stuff. And I have an opinion on my my reasons why i do definitely like these made in swiss made swiss made uh, i really i'm probably going to get some pb swiss stuff because now i'm kind of got a bug for it you know uh it does it does feel comfortable like the little bolstering on the ends here to kind of give you some grip uh the snap-ons have always been my go-to these are older handles but uh and the hard handles always nice too but you know it's always nice to have a different tool to try in my case uh, I'm just kind of, uh, you know, I'm a tool. I'm like that, you know, I'm a tool. <laughs> uh, I love trying different tools. And that's a beautiful part about what I do on my channel now is I get to try different things, see if I like them, see what I don't like. 
and share that opinion with you guys. So I appreciate you guys being kind, the, the majority of you that always comment and say something. And it doesn't have to be exactly nice. You don't have to kiss my butt. You can definitely give your opinion. I definitely appreciate it. And companies, there's certain companies that do appreciate you guys sharing your opinion. So I know this is getting long and I'm talking, but, you know, I just got to be honest with you guys. And it's been a while since I've done a tool. have been doing a lot of flyers and I've been really busy doing other things. So uh, let's look at the next thing. All right. So I'll be honest with you. Uh, I don't know what this is. And uh, hopefully somebody in the comment will comment on this. I didn't look at it. But he sent this to me. I do. I, I assume this is some sort of wire uh, tool of some sort. Uh, it is called a Sergeant, uh, Sergeant something, made in New Haven, Connecticut, USA. Really, really cool Sergeant company. Uh, it's obviously an older tool, but really well made. Uh, super cool. I love the cutter in here. In fact, let's see if we got something to cut. All right, so we got a couple pieces of wire here. The old number nine. No, it's not number nine, but uh, see how this bad boy, pretty pretty slick. Cuts pretty click, slick. Uh, I'm not sure what this little, see, I kind of wonder if it's not some sort of lineman's pliers or something like that, original style lineman's pliers. Really cool teeth in there. Let's see if we can get that to focus in there. Really cool uh, cross-hatching teeth there, real like cat's paw style. Well oiled, but uh, this will definitely Bernard, Bernard pliers. If anybody knows about them, let me know. I've never seen these before, but I do have a couple of very rare pliers, so uh, that's neat. I got a little cable here, a little thin cable. Let's see how it cuts these bad boys. A little, thin, little, little tough, but that's cable. So nonetheless, pretty neat little pair of pliers. Very good, very heavy. I mean, these things got some nose to them I'm, I'm not even lying to you so uh tell me if you know in the comment box about those then we've got the old classic vintage case knife i uh, sent me and the coolest part about this knife before we even go too far is the hand the case he made here i'm i'm assuming this is some real deer bone in here or some side of bone but he said he made this case for me uh whipped it up real quick they're pretty cool very nice little leather sheath the classic case knife here. These case knives are pretty much iconic. Just the two, uh, you know, my grandpa carried one of these. Uh, you know, just a uh, quick little folding knife, pocket knife, two, two blader. But just a nice unit. Very, very, very nice old unit. These things are classics. They're, they're everywhere. Uh, they're one of, I think they're one of the most sold knives in the uh, in history. I don't know a ton about knives, so I'm not going to really go deep, deep into it, but I do have a couple of case knives. They're pretty classic for, I, I will, I'll be honest with you, they're more of a farmer's knife. Most of the guys I know that were farmers always carried these pocket knives. I cut a million twine strings with a case pocket knife, so that's pretty cool, but I want to thank Mr. J, uh, uh, even though he doesn't want his name to be said. I want to thank Mr. J. It really means a lot to me. These tools, uh, these things that I've received will be uh, highly revered on my channel. When people send me stuff, I will say it goes into a special collection where I keep that stuff. Never to be messed with or sold. Uh, it means more to me than any tool I've ever bought. When somebody gives me something out of pure respect, I usually put that aside or uh, and try to keep it. I use it for special occasions or something like that. This will go with my knife collection, obviously not my tool because... Uh, this got to I like to keep this with all my good knives. I have a ton of knives if you guys don't know, but uh, yeah Let's talk. Let's talk about the last thing which it should be a bigger part of this video is is uh You guys remember a couple weeks ago. I did the old tight re tight reach extension clamp well a gentleman by the name of Clint here in Iowa reached out to me and uh, He said hey fella. He goes you're in Iowa. How come you don't have a handy clamp and I said well I don't know. Why don't I? And he goes, we make these up by, uh, up north of you. And I said, you're not joshing me, are you? And he says, absolutely not. So these are made in the USA. And I got to tell you, versus the, uh, the good old Chinese knockoff here, which I only knew about the tight reach. So that's why I got the tight reach, uh, which I bought this mainly, like I said before, to, to use on hose clamps. Uh, these things, uh, compared to these are absolute dog shit. And I mean that with all sincerity. 
tight reach, and so I kind of got a little history, I guess. Tight reach kind of ripped these guys off, uh, from what I understand, uh, and you can tell the absolute difference. And the best part about it is, tight reach, more money. Tight reach, more money, and less, and built with a lot shittier quality. Uh, you can tell right away. In fact, look at the bolt end here, the knurling you get on the handle. Uh, you know, tight reach has never been impressive to me. Uh, they make some very uh, different tools, but they, the quality that they go through to scapegoat to make uh, production so that they can sell them, I understand. Uh, that's the problem with a lot of this USA-made stuff, and I'll be honest with you. Uh, I, us people here in Iowa and most of the manufacturers of tools here in Iowa uh, don't stoop to those, those standards usually to make a tool. But you can tell just on the weld on the back here, this is a quality tool. Look at the weld on the back of it. Look at that little puny weld on the back of there. Just a little. And the thickness of the metal. You are getting a much better tool for better money uh, when you buy the handy clamp. And I do believe, I talked to Nick over at JD Tico, and I do believe he will be starting to sell these things uh, fairly soon. And Clint is a great guy. Uh, I've had a couple emails with him. And I definitely appreciate uh, his quickness to get back to me. And I'm happy that, once again, I helped set up another uh, tool company with a little bit more vendor capabilities. Uh, this, is, this is a good one. I hope Nick sells a lot of these because these can come in handy. I honestly think the spring clamp deal, if you have spring clamps or clamps down in the deal, or just starting a nut in a blind area where you can get this thing, that's the biggest thing about this. <laughs> Hold on here, fellow. Let me get in here. And it's so, so much smoother than this. This thing is absolutely, it's, it's a dog turd. Look at that. First of all, just look at the, look at this. The spinning. Now watch this. It's just smoother. It's just a hell of a lot smoother. Uh, and then you can put your nut in here. And it's just a better tool overall quality. For, it just, once again, the money uh, for the value of what you're getting to hold your nut. You can tell a lot about this thing. Look at the, the look at these, uh. It's got holes up here in the end because they try to cheapen the material, the uh, the, the the bars themselves, definitely a lot thinner. I mean, it just amazes me uh, the amount of corners that big companies go to cut sometimes to sell you something, and then they're charging you more for it. Uh, and tight reach has never impressed me. Uh, and quite frankly, they don't make anything that really uh, matters to me. That's why I have the Mac one. It's not a tight reach. Uh, it's a different brand, but uh, this is definitely the way to go. And uh, check these out probably over on JD Tico. Uh, hopefully he'll have these soon. And uh, if not, uh, I think that's, I bought mine, well, I got mine directly. Clint, Clint sent me these, uh, just as just full disclosure. I got two of them. Uh, I got one for another guy. Uh, and I don't know how many he's got left or what the story is, but uh, definitely, I know I know for sure I think Nick's going to be uh, in, in business with these guys uh, because they are a very, very nice tool. So uh, check those out, uh, or I'll leave a link in the description for JD Tico's site. But anyways, guys, that's the video. Remember, like, comment, share, subscribe. Ring that bell. Remember, keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching.